After you connect your drone to the transmitter, make sure you connect back to Betaflight. After you connect to Betaflight, make sure you go to the Receivers tab. And when you go to the Receivers tab, make sure you check your roll, your pitch, your yaw, and your throttle. As you can see, your roll and your yaw is mixed up. In order to fix that, you would want to look at the acronyms for the roll and the yaw. As you can see, the roll is for A and yaw is R. And you would go to the channel maps and you would switch up the R with the A. After you have done that, make sure to save and check again for the roll and for the yaw. You would also want to check the directional the direction of your stick to the channel map. So first we would check the roll and when you shift your stick left, you'd want the bar to go left. And if you stick your shift right, you want to you want the bar to go right. So we'll check the roll. And then we will check the pitch. As for the pitch, when you put it down, you want the bar to go left. And you, when you put it up, you want the bar to go right. And for the yaw, same as the roll, when you put your stick to the left, you would want the bar to go to, go to the left. And when you put your stick to the right, you would want the bar to go to the right. And as for the throttle, if you put it down, you want the bar to go left. When you put it up, you want the bar to go right. As you can see, the roll and the yaw direction is off. Therefore, you would want to go to the CLI tab and type in RX range. As you can see, you can see the RX range from 0 to 3. And in my notes here, it shows you that the roll is RX range 0. The yaw is RX range 2. Therefore, you would want to go to CLI and type in RX range 0, 2000, and 1000 to change the direction of, uh, direction of the bar. And also, you'd want to put RX range. Two and two thousand to one thousand. Therefore, now you have changed the direction of the yaw and the roll. And after you would want to click save, you would want to connect again. And you go to the receivers tab. And now you would want to check the roll one more time. When you go left, you want the bar to go left. When you put the stick to the right, you want the bar to go to the right. Same for the yaw. If you have connected your drone to your transmitter and you try to arm your drone, you might realize sometimes it might not arm. In order to fix that, you would want to first go to the receivers tab and look at the throttle and you would want to put your throttle stick all the way down as you can see the number is 1159 and if you look at the stick low threshold it's 11049 you would always want the stick low threshold to be above the throttle bar when the throttle stick is down therefore because 11, uh, 1049 is smaller than 1159 you would want to change the stick low threshold. Usually I would want to add, go above by 20 points. So you go 11, 80. And you would want to click save. Now you would want to also um, 
check your switches on your transmitter. You will want to first check one switch for aux 1. This would be used to on the drone. And aux 2. Aux 2 would be used to change the flight mode for the drone. Now you would go to the mode tab. As you can see, the arm label is assigned with aux 1. But however, you can see that in order for the switch to work, the oval yellow circle has to be within the bound yellow bar. However, there is not much room for error. In order to do that, in order to create for more room for error, you would want to increase the yellow bar. To around this much. Now, if you want to change the flight of mode for your drone, you would want to go to angle make this aux 2. Now angle is the most beginner flight mode for anyone because it has self-leveling and it, it helps so that the drone won't flip over during your flight time. As for horizon, you'd want to add range and from auto you'd want to switch to aux 2. As you can see, the angle yellow bar and the horizon angle, angle bar is within the same area. You do not want that. Therefore, you want to decrease the angle and decrease the horizon. Therefore, if you put your switch all the way up, it would be in angle mode. And if you put your switch to the middle, I'll be in horizon mode. If you put it all the way down, I'll be in acro mode. As you can see, horizon is harder than harder than angle, but easier than acro. That's because horizon has self-leveling, but the drone can still flip over. As for acro, that would be used. So that you could have complete control over the drone. After all these changes, make sure you click save.